Tip number 20, don't forget about heat distribution. And this is especially important if uh, you used to design small boards, for example, small microcontroller boards or some boards uh, which are not really driving high currents. And suddenly you move something a little bit bigger, like processor boards. Yeah. When you were designing this small board, uh, you don't have to think about the heat distribution. So you may completely forget about this topic when you start designing your first processor board. And then suddenly, when you connect it to power, yeah, you design the board, you connect it to power, everything gets really hot. So when you are designing board, which is driving high currents, which is uh, the kind of board uh, which can generate, I don't know, 10, 20, 50 watts or even more, you have to think about heat distribution. So how you are going to take the heat away from the components on your board. You need to think about the components which can get hot on the board. On the processor board, what is usually the hottest component? The processor, yeah. You may be surprised sometimes how hot the processor can get. Even with the heating and uh, even on the small boards which we design sometimes, the processor, ARM processor, it can uh, get like 80 Celsius degrees. It's, uh, I think it's 180 degrees of uh, Fahrenheit. It's a lot of heat. Yeah. And other components can get hot. For example, Ethernet chip. Yeah. This is thermal image of this uh, small module, which is here. This is a processor, this is Ethernet. Can get really hot. Memories can get hot. What else on processor board can get hot? Power supplies. Yeah. Inductors, transistors. Be very, very careful. Be sure you know what components can get hot and how you are going to take the heat away from these components. Or it doesn't have to be processor board. Sometimes there are specific components which uh, can generate heat, like linear regulators. Yeah, these are kind of uh, dangerous uh, components. Sometimes I'm very surprised that you find uh, linear regulators with wide range uh, input, voltage input, like from five to 24 volts and it can generate 3.3 volt yeah and it's so tiny uh, sometimes there is not even uh, exposed part the heat just goes away through the pins you need to be very careful okay you you need to calculate carefully if you really can connect 24 volt on this small tiny chip and uh, if yes how you are going to take away all the heat generated with this tiny chip. Yeah. Are you going to uh, add some copper around the chip on the PCB or are you going to use heating or something? Be aware of these kind of components. So tip number 20, don't forget about heat distribution. Why? Some components may get really hot and you may need to place their heat sink or find another way how to take the heat away otherwise your board may not work properly or you can damage some of the components